So the YouTube and Safi here, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my update for Groupyard Project Ban. Today is July 1st and <laughs> yesterday I kept seeing updates for this project popping up on YouTube and I was like, why is everyone posting their update early? And by the end of the day, I realized that, yeah, the 31st, the 30th of June is the last day. I was sure today, Friday, was the last day of June, but it was not, so I am late. Hopefully, this update is going up today, but I don't know. Anyway, this project was created by Emily from the channel Emily and Max. I will link her channel down below as well as the details of this project because English is not my first language and I can already feel that I will struggle if I try to explain this project. Also, I will address a few things, nothing major, but you can see a patch Picking because for some reason my shoulder is killing me when I'm, I'm using my arm as well as this is this yes this which is my fan I forgot to address it in my last video uh, yeah summer is here I need the fan to sleep some nights and Again, my shoulder is killing me, so I cannot get it down, but it's going to stay up for the whole summer, hopefully. Not like last year where we had, I don't know, three days of hot weather, and then it was raining pretty much for the end of summer. Um, is that it? I think so. So let's get into this update. From the category Resurrection, I have two products. I have my uh, Kiko Milano Sicilian Notes blush, fake blush, fake blush in the color 4, Egati Wine. This is what it's looking like. So, pretty much unused except for you know, residue of blush uh, all around. Uh, my goal is to use it 24 times. It was in my uh, Throwback 30 last year i have 15 uses this is almost like a miracle i, I don't even mm, i don't even think i got to 15 uses uh when i oh yeah i was working on it as well in my graveyard project plan last year so i don't think last year i got to 20 uh, 15 uses so i think i can get to 24 uses by the next update hopefully i also have from kiko milano from the collection holiday gems i have the infinite sparkle eyeshadow in the color 3 bordeaux garnet and this is what this shadow is looking like and my goal is to use it 10 times i used it 10 uh, 6 Times so far, I am wearing it today on the center of my lid. Um, I thought I could have my 10 uses by this update. I mean, we are updating this project every two months, but I did not because I kind of forgot about it. But I only have four uses left. I mean, if I don't have four uses by the next update, what am I doing? And then we're going to talk about my collecting cobwebs category, which uh, expanded a lot when I posted my like 0.5 updates, which like I said, we are supposed to update this project every two months, but I just, I wanted to roll some things in. I'm using this category for products that are pretty much unused, maybe even brand new and that are a few years old so my first product is this lipstick also from kiko milano it's from the collection oh it's also from the holiday gems um collection this is the lasting luxury matte lipstick in the color number two this is a matte lipstick as you can see maybe 
maybe it's easier to see like this uh, there is a little bit of brown on it because I uh, mixed it a lot with this Maybelline lipstick in the color 950 and Tainted Spice and also with a brown lip liner this is a pretty light nude on me when I am tan it's a little bit too light which is why I mixed it with um, the Maybelline one I will swatch it on the side even though it's not in this project just so you can see so I used to mix to, I used to mix these two I think in winter it's not gonna be too light but right now it's just a little bit too light but I also used to top it with this Milani lip gloss which let's do this yeah on this side whoa that's a lot so I used to top it with this lip gloss here from Milani. This is the Brilliant Shine, I think, lip gloss. Yes, Brilliant Shine lip gloss. And so as you can see, it's darker than the, than the lipstick. So it pretty much darkened it. Uh, my goal was to use it 10 times. I don't know if I already said it. And I reached that goal on the 18th of June and i really enjoyed wearing it then i have my also from kiko this this is the green me highlighter in the color two uh no in the color 102 sun kissed copper um my goal was to use it 10 times as well and you can see a swatch here and I've reached that goal on the 2nd of June I actually used it once more because I don't know it was under my nose so I just wanted to reach for it then I have not from Kiko yeah this sleek palette this is the I divine on the horizon palette and this is what it's looking like. I believe all the Eye Divine palettes have been discontinued. This palette was brand new and it's at least, I don't know, six or seven years old. So yeah, my goal was to use every pan. Yeah, every pan once is it yes and i had to reach for it eight times to do it and um i've reached my goal on the 5th of june so let me get through these okay i use this shade three times this one once this one twice this one once once and once I use this one once this one as well I use this one three times this one twice and the two last shades once each the quality was okay the shimmers are not like last year I was working on I don't remember the name I will write it on the screen I was working on another I divine palette and the shimmers I think were better the which one wait yeah the green I really don't like the green shimmer this one it's dull and almost looks yeah it almost looks kind of greenish grayish green um, this shade is no Yes, this shade is, at least on my lid, it looks lighter than it looks here. And the orange metallic is a little bit disappointing. I have another palette, the Garden Something from Sleek, which has, oh no, it's the Sunset palette, which has a metallic orange and it's so much better. This one is lacking a little bit of like death and pigmentation like orange pigment it's a little bit light it's a little bit see-through that's that's the word but this one is rolling out 
Um, then uh, last in my point five update, I rolled in these three um, concealers uh, because they were all showing windows, even though well, this one I got quite a bit of use, uh, quite a bit of use out of, but. This one was brand new, used once, this one was completely brand new. They are all alright, like they haven't turned bad, but they are drying out. This one, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the color C13, um, listen, this, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the window here, up here, but this there is a separation line here so i think the product is settling here i've used it my goal was to use the three each wait my goal was to use each four times it's just to see you know at the formula so this one has basically five uses and it's all the way down like down here wow wow why um, this is a scam <laughs> this is a scam even though this is a scam I really enjoyed the formula it was not creasing on me and I have like folds under my eyes so the, the formula was you know wearing pretty well on my skin I was afraid it was gonna be too light it was not or yeah no it was not it was neutral enough because sometimes my under eye concealer can look a little bit yellow or orange but the color was really good so i don't know why it was too light before maybe because i wasn't on acne medication so i was a little bit light darker even in the middle of winter i don't know and um, yeah i really enjoyed this one the applicator is a little bit hard let me show you the applicator obviously this is like not a dupe but they're trying to do the tart one. This is the applicator. It's a little bit smaller, if I remember well, than the tart uh, applicator. But it's the main difference is that it's harder and less, less like fluffy. But it's not unusable. Um, I had this Sephora high coverage concealer, natural finish in the color. 14, uh, 14, 46 pecan. Uh, I remember why I still love this concealer. I think I checked the Sephora website to see if it, if it was still available. I think it was. Most of the sh of the shades were, were, oh my god. Most of the shades were not, but I think pecan was still available. Uh, obviously, I still have the majority of the concealer left. Uh, the concealer is settling here. I have a window here, but it I can see the settle line here, so I still quite I still have quite a bit. I love the applicator. I prefer flat applicator like this, and the shade is pretty good. It's a neutral color, which I need because my foundation tends to warm up on my skin love it and finally this concealer remember i was afraid that the um, revolution one was going to be too light oh but the mac one the mac 24 hours studio fix uh concealer or the 24 hour smooth wear concealer in the color nc45 or oh, this one was light i think it's also because this one is really pigmented maybe but if i used if i used as much as i used these um or if i applied as much as i applied when i used these um ooh, my under eye was bright so i had to be quite light-handed when using this one so my under eye wouldn't be too crazy and crazy light but I enjoyed it it's not my favorite I prefer these 
which why paying the high price tag if I prefer less expensive concealers but this one was okay it was it was good it was creasing as much as my usual concealer crease um, I can see the window here and it's not really showing a settling line so I guess we're going to say that we are up here so this oh yeah you can see that this one is brighter this is the mac concealer it looks so like light yellow this is the sephora one and this is the um makeup revolution one these two are more similar in colors but the mac one is pretty light so yeah i think i can only use this when i'm at my lightest or have a light hand and finally i rolled in my urban decay after dark um, eyeshadow palette my goal is to use each shade three times and i haven't done it so far oh let's take out the brush before it fails so this is what the palette is looking like i have not used a lot um so i have used this shade once i am wearing it today in my inner corner i have used this one once i have yes i have it here in the first like third of my eyelid and i have used these two in the same look well in my last um video i am wearing these two the gold is a little bit disappointing because it's a little bit dull and i have used this one which is kind of like a dual chrome but it's a little bit dull as well i don't know if it's i don't know if i consider these dull and it's just the urban decay formula of if they became dull because they are old i have urban decay moon dust eyeshadows i have two of them and i'm pretty sure these were supposed to be this formula right think so and i prefer my singles these are just yeah they are more dull and less textured and flaky compared to the moon dust eyeshadows which you can prefer but i don't uh, it's not gonna make me declutter this palette but i don't think i'm gonna enjoy this eyeshadow and the round is it's just not interesting i in my last video when i used the gold gold and the brown i used also my wet and white conference zone palette i only used the brown and the brown in that palette was so much more interesting compared to this one so so in the end, I have this palette, this lipstick, my three concealers, and this highlighter rolling out. So I'm rolling out six, that's ten, six products. <laughs> I'm not going to roll in six new ones because, I mean, the concealers were just here to see if they were still good. I'm going to roll in four products. I'm going to roll in this this Fenty the gloss bomb in the color Fenty Glow. A lot of people are really appreciating this uh, lip gloss, but I uh, 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 <laughs> I can't stand the smell of this lip gloss it hasn't turned bad it's just I no Steph from Steph Lyons is uh Pani yes is trying to finish this lip gloss in the color diamond milk and she said that at the beginning she couldn't stand the I, sh I think she couldn't stand the smell but now she really likes it oh and she said it smells like cherries where 
oh it's no i have two more gloss bombs they are minis and they smell exactly the same so i just oh the smell no. uh, i want to use this hmm, hmm, five times because i'm trying to finish another lip gloss i am also rolling in this lipstick uh from zoeva in the color futuro red F futuro red well um and i don't i don't know its exact name as you can see it's brand new never used and i think this is three years old so let's watch it for the first time oh i hope it's not too orangey red i don't like orangey red on my lips mm, maybe not so my goal is to use it five times as well because i am trying to finish this right from nars i am rolling in this product from milk makeup this is the lip and shake uh, stick in the color quirk have i used it i think i used it once without makeup and i don't know if i can wear it over makeup maybe with a light base i don't know so this is quirk and my goal is to use it 10 times because i Ooh. Ooh, it smells like Crayola. Is it supposed to smell like this? Oh, well, I want to see if I can use it like properly. I know I don't like it on my lips. Though. On my lips, it's a little bit, it's a little bit shocky. So I know I don't like it on my lips, but it feels like it's not pigmented enough to work on my cheeks and also too glowy so we'll see and the last product is this highlighter from makeup addiction cosmetic this is the light light reflecting loose powder in the color bronzify this is so old I was a student when I bought this, I think. So this is like six years old, something at least. And I have used it maybe twice, maybe three times, but that's it. So of course, this is a loose highlighter. And this is, I mean, this is potent like really potent so it's a light swatch but my goal is going to be to use it let's go with 10 times why not so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out the hashtag i think there is a playlist i can't remember if there is it will be in my description box and i will see you in my next one bye